All right. We are testing, testing. Okay, the loopback looks looks good. And by looks good, I of course mean potato. Very good. All right, so we are going to have a lovely stream of a doodle here. Uh, let's move that around. Control minus. Oh, that's kind of helpful. Uh, we'll put it over there. Actually, we'll make that persistent. There we go. Very nice. Got our chat up here. Low quality or potato quality. Potato quality is due to customer data. So we're we're uh, we're keeping it old school here. I don't know if you noticed. Um, this is something that we <laughs> we haven't done in a while. Cool. Something we haven't done in a while uh, because I've not figured out a way to blur. There's a whole bunch of stuff I did. I was trying to get OBS to blur uh, correctly and sharpen this data out, but there is no better way to perform an actual blur than to reduce the uh, <laughs> reduce the screen resolution or the output resolution. So, and then use like the single the the worst uh, resolution scaling thingy. So we've got a uh, somewhat interesting case here. And here, go through here. There we are. So we've got our customer who needs a feature request. So, oh yeah, I forgot I should probably change my stream name. Recording feature name, uh, da, 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 da. stream edit. Ah. Stream. Feature add bug squash low quality potato quality much better. All right, so we've got our lovely Emacs here, and to remind us what we've got, um, our data comes through several layers. Of course, customer customer data is supposed to come through on uh, our you know our standard uh, systems but it never does so we wind up getting it through our messaging system so here's our our bit of data for who needs to be changed and we're going to be doing some emacs work and introduce that there we go truncate lines Word wrap. There we go. So here are our data points, and we need to turn this into actual, you know, understanding of what our customer requirements are, <clears throat> because that's just that's the best thing we can do here. Um, companies. All oh, right. Searchability. Putting this in uh, org mode format. There we go. to be added. I don't know what that means actually. Search ability. Hmm. Translating the customer requirements always is the f the, f the best part of my job. <clears throat> Keeps, uh, 
more search there we go is it p p does not do that d n p hmm. <laughs> uh, there's an emacs autocomplete that i haven't done yet haven't figured out how quite quite how to use it yet I'll go here, that there, there we are. All right, so here's where we are trying to figure out who needs what. And that means figuring out who is what. Uh, user ID. All of these user IDs. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is get ourselves logged in, and we do that uh, unsurprisingly. So I'm on my local box here, running Emacs. I should probably add that to this uh, this bit. There we go. So we're running Emacs over here and we're trying to get ourselves connected. Um, and this is easy enough because I'm on a local, uh, well actually, I'm running a local session in Emacs here on this, this computer. Um, and I've got a bookmark that could actually, it's an SSH FS connection to this file. This, this list of to-do list things file is on the, uh, on the cloud server and I'm accessing that directly through Emacs through a uh, that SSH file system so I'm using that to open up this file so there's a little bit of delay in writing and saving but that's not a huge deal because I'm going to also use Emacs and tramp to connect from here through to uh, the customer server and I'll do that by opening up our bookmarks This is the bookmark. The bookmark is actually connecting down here. It's getting SSH connections and piping things through and then creating a, uh, a local buffer. This local buffer <clears throat> has everything that I need in it. So I'm, I'm actually pulling the file and then working on it semi-locally. And whenever I save it, it actually uh, reaches out and places the file back where it was left and gives me those, uh, uh, does it as an, as an overwrite. Uh, so, actually, the first thing I do before I change anything. Am I going to change anything? Yeah, I'm going to change something. Let's do a shell here. And we're going to open the shell on the remote system. There we go. It's moved over. I don't really need it. In our working directory, we're in the right spot. This is actually the same spot that is denoted by this file that we're accessing right now. And we're going to get status because get maggot is uh, a little odd going through a tramp session. And it looks like we are all up to date. Actually, it looks like we're ahead. Yes, why are we ahead? This is. These are the things we need to know. Uh, so let's open up Maggot. And I don't think that's going to work. Yeah, Maggot is uh, out of date by this standard, but it's actually, it's actually correct. Uh, not here, not here. Did I? I feel like I put this somewhere to make it a little bit easier to get to. I feel like that file is... I beg your pardon? Um, a bug just flew into my monitor. This is exciting stuff. Um, 
let's see. Oh man, I thought I had this. We have a notes file here and that's Yeah, see this doesn't work. So the get executable needs to be redefined. And that's that's okay because we're connecting through this system that's it's a it's a virtualized system, so it has its own user space. Um, and that has a different git defined for it. And we see this by going to the shell. And doing where is git? It was actually a different one for this, and I'm not quite sure why. Yeah, let's get ourselves through here. I thought I had this git file saved. This is this is the the joys of just getting connected to another a user system, but once we get set up, we'll be flying. I um, also am lacking that file that I need, so I thought I had saved that. It's my bad. Come on, email. Like I said, you should always, you know, the, the plan is to uh, to get yourself set up. There you go. The plan is to get your users to, or your customers to send all your data correctly, but that's it. That is just not what happens. Go through here. I think that's right. It is. Yeah, the uh, the where is function works differently through this shell for some reason, and I have no idea why. So, we'll just take ourselves up here, back to this, the notes file I have. There we go. And we're actually going to save that. Because I should not need to do this, nor should I need to be logged in here. Because we have Emacs, this is the power of Emacs. We're going to connect through everything using only Emacs. It's very amazing. So we've got our path updated. And now when we try to open up Maggot, it says it can't connect because of a variable. And the variable it's complaining about is this one. And how do we change that variable? We say help v. That's not v. Yeah, you say help v, and it auto defaults to the variable you're pointing at. And it says the value is set to git, and it needs to be something else. So let's customize that variable. Mm, actually, yeah, let's do that in this, this reference file. So here's our variable name, and we're going to set Q that variable name. I think I have to use double quotes for this. There we go. Execute that. We'll save that file so I don't have to go look it up again. And. Come on now. Good. And now we're, we should be able to run maggot status here. Beautiful. Good. Unstaged, untracked. Wait a minute. Untracked, unstaged, unmerged. This is no changes. Uh, 
Well, that's weird. I'm pretty sure I'm in the right environment. Why would I be behind? Or it said I was ahead of Master. Let's, let's go back to our shell. Yeah, your branch is ahead of Origin Master by four commits. Oh, so I'm ahead. I just don't know what the, the differences are. Uh, but if that's the case, I should actually be ahead of Master on the regular one. Let's try again here. <clears throat> so we are in a shell on the the target box, the customer box, and we are we do have autocomplete in this shell. And we should be in the right spot. And we are. So let's see what uh, its status is in this directory. Not staged for commit. Let's just have this leftover stuff hanging out here. It's rather annoying. Um, let's see. Let's get ourselves connected. I want to see what the what the difference is. Oh, okay, great. No, not great. This is actually untrue. All right. Get some music here. Good. What you call it? Just getting caught up with whatever was going on. And then, of course, they updated the updated how this looks. There we go. Updated the UI, which means I don't know where I am. Look at this merge. I don't know why that's there. Oh, that was removed. Okay. Why do we have four commits ahead? It doesn't make any sense. Would be. Yep. It says it's up to date. That's weird. So I've got a, a staging area and a production area. And that staging area, what? What do you want? We're not branching uh, because I want to have, uh, this is uh, logistical reasons for that actually. So we're not branching properly. Uh, so let's see what we've got here.
cool. 66 updates. That's surprising. Uh, hopefully it's just some housekeeping. So I'll change registration. I wish I could just view these. This is not helpful. Change registration to not verify. These are all done. Info for various files. This can't be right. It means it's not ahead. No, no, no. This is all wrong. This is all wrong. Now let's go uh, let's open up this one in prod and we will bag it. Inside. So we want to fetch from origin. So I've got um, we've got Git running on. Uh, there we go. <sighs> Unpulled updates. Yeah, this didn't come through. Yeah, so I've got the Oh, good, 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 good. This is good. This is why Maggot is great. So I've got a... This is... Again, this is what's the layering that's going on here. This is my computer. I've got an Emacs session running locally on my computer. That Emacs session is connecting to customer server X. Customer server X has two directories. Uh, a prod and a testing. A staging. And both of those, well, one gets updates first and then is tested. And then once that test is done, it gets merged to remote, uh, to offsite storage, offsite Git repository. And then once that's synced, then this, the prod pulls it down, fetches it from the master, or fetches it from the origin, and it gets applied. And here in Emacs, I'm managing all of that and all of that uh, that Git interaction through Maggot or Magit. I'm not actually sure how it's supposed to be pronounced. <clears throat> so I I pushed it from testing up to origin, and then I switched to prod, and I synced, I fetched, and now I'm reviewing what is actually upstream, what is what is different up here. And I can see all the outputs. Except now it's not working. <laughs> oh, I think it jumped me ahead. So it's telling me that this connection does not go through, or is, is not up to date. And that's fine, but it's also just telling me what the changes are, so I can review all of these. Yeah, changes in upstream, and all of these look normal. It's giving me the full diff here. 
so I can review what, what it is I've actually changed and what, uh, what hasn't been applied. And this stuff is just fine. This is just housekeeping. Yep. Let's get that up real quick here. Yeah, looking good. Okay. I always get a little sketched out when I'm running this kind of thing. Because this, this is live this customer data here. And i got to make sure everything's blocked out. So, we got our diff, uh, we were able to confirm what's on it and what's not on it, and I feel comfortable merging this. So, let's see what we've got here. It's pull from origin. We'll get our lovely merge, we'll get our merge on. Local changes to the following files will be overwritten by this merge. That's probably fine. Oh, that's weird. That file is unnecessary. I need to reset. Yeah, unstage. Wait, that's not right. I'm trying to make sure I'm in the right spot here. I don't know, this looks right. This might actually be not working well. Here I am talking about how great Maggot and uh, Emacs is, but if you get connected through enough layers, you can you can make things break. Uh, let's see. Okay, so that error was down here. We'll revert back to the shell here. Go back over here. Let's go get its status. Branches behind. Can be fast forwarded. Yeah. I see, I'm not sure what I get. What's going on here? Please commit your changes or stash them before you can merge. Local changes found to the following files will be overwritten by the merge. That file actually should not be in there. Should come in. Okay, so this is actually a problem. Although, I might be able to cheat here.
Let's see what comes up for that. I have not stashed before, but I've also not uh, messed this up. Stashes. This is probably going to create a, a merge conflict. But it's not actually a problem, so... Okay. That looks correct. Got that. Yeah, we're going to have to merge too. Let's see what happens. Try that again. Fetch from origin, see if we can get it. Candy's not possible because of unmerged. This is why it's easier sometimes to just do it from the This is this is how this is just how this goes sometimes. It's not possible. It's unmerged. All right. Well, this was probably a good uh, exercise here, but uh, I don't think we're getting anywhere here. I'm going to have to look more deeply into this. This is just how it goes sometimes. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. See y'all later.